Well, the project is all to do with this so-called Roman bath, which is actually on King's campus. Um, it's not really a Roman bath, though. But our project together was to look at the way that history and imagination have come together around this historic site. And we just wanted to explore some of the ways that meanings have been created about this bath being actually Roman. So we made this little display together, some of which is true and some of which is totally invented. But the idea is to show how by exhibiting things in a certain way, you can give them an aura of authenticity and truth, even when that's not actually the case. And what was it like for you, man, collaborating with Jen? It was wonderful because uh, the bath is, is a space that I have worked on as an academic proposition, as something that has got a history that can be pinned down. Uh, what I established was that a lot of the history of this place is to do with fantasy and invention and imagination. But that's a difficult thing for an academic to deal with. Uh, and precisely a, a creative artist who responds to a particular place, which is, is very heavily what Jen's practice uh, is, is centred on, uh, is a wonderful way of opening up precisely that dimension of fantasy and imagination uh, that attaches to the place. How do you want people to feel when they... Well, that's a really difficult question because apart from this display, um, all of the work was exhibited or experienced in the space itself. It's not really work for a gallery. So we had to work out a different way of presenting it, really. Um, and the video and sound work, which... I did with a collaborator called Lynn Dennison and um, that was actually projected onto the water in the bath um, and then it all reflected up onto the walls and ceilings so you can't really do that in a gallery so we just had to try and give people a, a bit of an idea. Um, I, I think Jen in that connection you ought to say something about the rubbing uh, which is the piece in the exhibition that most directly brings the space and the physical identity of the bath into the exhibition space here. Well, in the bath there's an old, uh, is it a 19th, late 19th, late 19th century, century yeah. uh, marble plaque yep. with um, writing on it, which states that it is a Roman bath. So I did a, a, just a simple rubbing with uh, graphite on Bible paper and so that it's kind of like a photo, there's a sort of physical link between, say if you took a photo of the bath um, it would have a physical link with the bath, so the rubbing has a physical link with this plaque which is in the bath so we were hoping to get something of the physical nature of the bath here. And there's also a brick <laughs> from the bath. No, but there, there, is, there, is more, there is more to say about that rubbing because obviously it, it, it brings a shape uh, from the bath in its real size. Uh, but also, it's, I think it's a wonderful representation of a lot of what we were pulling away at in the project because uh, if you look at it very hard, you can just see some faint lettering, the end of the word Roman, just down there. But otherwise, what it gives you is, is this representation of, a, of a, a set of broken fragments. You, you see the cracks. Uh, and it, I think it's wonderful that the very plaque that says that this is a Roman bath has itself become a broken ruin, which the National Trust had to lovingly... It, you can see it in photographs from the 1940s in fragments in a corner of the bath. And they've lovingly put it back together and put it in, in a, a wooden frame to hold it all together and put it on the wall. Uh, 
and this is a wonderful emblem of, of the uh, the way the bath has been reinvented in, in, in these fantastical ways. And there it is on the wall with the genuine brick, which once upon a time was supposed to be the absolute clinching proof that the bath is really Roman. Because if you look at the, uh, the cover of the guidebook beside the brick, that was issued in the 1920s, and it's uh, proclaiming the bath as definitely Roman. And it carefully says on the front, uh, this guidebook is approximately the same colour and size as the bricks of the bath, which are themselves the proof that it really is Roman as we're telling you. There are some lovely connections weaving around here.